Hey guys, this is Chanky, and in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about trains. First, let's talk about the basics of all the buildings. To start building any of these, you're going to need train stations, freight loaders and unloaders, rails, and finally the trains and its freights. When you're placing the train station down, you'll notice an orange arrow. This arrow shows the direction in which the train is exiting the station from. The station can be rotated by turning the scroll on your mouse. Notice the direction of the arrow here. Always place freight loaders behind the arrow and you have to place as many freight loaders as there are freights for your train. The position of the conveyor sockets can be changed with the scroll wheel. This is the same case with fluid loaders. A freight can hold up to 32 slots of items or 1600 meter cubes of fluid. Also, a heads up if you're going to place more than 3 freights, you might want to keep another locomotor in between. Trains struggle on inclines when they have loads, and since we're on the topic of inclines, never place a train station right on the top of a hill. When a train nears a station, it applies brakes to slow down, and if it does that on an incline, it won't be able to make it and it'll just go back down. As for power, connect the supply to one train station. Power flows through rails, so you won't have to worry about connecting more stations. This can be used to sync up faraway factories to your main grid, instead of using a long pole-based transmission of power. To make a split, draw two rails from the end of another rail. You'll see that a railroad switch is automatically created. There's no need to worry about the switch because once the train is automated, the switch doesn't play any role in the direction of the train travel. The switch only comes into play if you are the one driving the train. There are three types of train systems you can make. The single line system, loop system, and the hybrid of the other two. This is a single line system. In this system, you have two stations facing away from each other. It is very important that you face them away or it won't work. The loaders will have to be placed on the inside of the line. Trains will only move forward, so for this to work, you will need a second locomotor facing the opposite direction on the other end of the train. Loop systems are easy to understand but take up more space. In this system, the train station will face in the same direction. An easy way to place the loaders right is to place them on the side of the train station where the roof is flat and not curved. The hybrid system is a combination of the single line system and the loop system. It is the easiest to make as the direction of the train stations does not matter. The stations can be in any direction relative to each other. The loops at the end are so the trains can turn around and go back. So now that you guys know about the setup, let's talk about the programming of the train. Here I have a blue station, a green station and a red station. The train is docked at the blue station right now. Say that I want to program the train to move to the green station, then to the blue station the red station, green, blue, in that order. To do that, I'd go to any of the stations and select timetable. Here you'll see the names of the trains you have on that track. In my case, I only have one, which is why there's only one. I select that and you can name the train here. And then down here, I can press the plus sign to add a stop. You can click on the stop to change the station. Now I'm just going to put the station names as we discussed in the beginning. The order is from top to bottom. Once you reach the bottom, the timetable will repeat again from the top. Toggle on the autopilot and then X out from this dialog box. You should see that the train works immediately. Experience is the best teacher, so try them out yourselves. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them. There's a new update coming pretty soon, so if you want to see the highlights of those, subscribe and hit the notification icon. Take care guys!